I la 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 la. I la la la. Hello, welcome to my channel, Haley Marie Vintage. Today is another vintage haul. This is a mix of stuff I've got in person as well as stuff I bought off Etsy. Um, everything off Etsy is actually lingerie. This is like a fairly heavy undergarment video for me. I don't usually buy a ton of vintage lingerie, but I kind of got on a kick where I kind of bought quite a bit. So those pieces I won't be modeling for you, but I will show you to them because I think they're really cool pieces of history for sure. We'll get started. This I got at, I think it's called Pacific Galleries in Seattle. Um, it's in kind of like the Soto area. This is like a really cute little barrel purse. You just twist it and it pops open. The inside looks pretty nice. I just thought this was really cute and unique um, and I'd seen kind of like a lot of picnic purses and this kind of felt like a picnic purse but a little bit more like explorer-y um, and I kind of like that it's also a little bit like boozy in nature. I just thought this piece was super fun. Next up we'll go into the lingerie. This is a bullet bra. This is like a, they're the ones that are like spiral. They're, uh, they're sewn in the spiral so that's kind of how they loop. This one Honestly, it fits me really, really horribly. I don't know if I'll ever be able to wear it without like padding it. Um, a vintage B cup is very different from the modern day vintage B cup, which shouldn't be surprising, but this is a Vassarette, Hollywood Vassarette underneath it all. Um, and it is nylon and elastic and lycra. Um, and this is, yeah, a 32B, which uh, yeah, it doesn't fit me at all, which is a huge bummer. So yeah, I might have to just like get like the little like bra inserts to like kind of fill it. Um, cause yeah, it's just, it looks really awkward. Next up is another bullet bra that fits me horribly from the 1950s, but isn't it beautiful? This piece I might be more inclined to like hang somewhere or something cause it's really, really lovely. I love the satin. Um, and then it has kind of a wider elastic waistband in the back. This is Lily's, spelled L-I-L-E-E-S, by Lily of France. And this was also a 32B, and this one also didn't fit me. So I guess in vintage bras, I'm looking for an A cup. I don't know. I think uh, this will be the last time I buy bras online that are vintage because I'm pretty unhappy with the fit of both of these. And they weren't too expensive. I think both came in, like combined, came in under 70, so it's not too bad. And I do really like them for my collection, but it would be nice if they fit too. Next up is a piece of really beautiful dead stock vintage. This is a 1950s girdle. This says it's for a 27 inch waist, which blows my mind because I am like a 26 ish. This one takes me down to a 24 and a half inch waist once it's on. And then my hips actually go down by four inches. So this is actually really exciting because it'll let me use like and wear some of the wiggle skirts that I can't wear because I have too big of a like waist hip difference. So I'm excited about this. I did scratch myself pretty bad with the original tags. I didn't want to take them off quite yet, um, but I will after this video. But yeah, this is a super great piece of dead stock. It's like not that pretty, but I kind of liked, I thought this was unique. I hadn't seen the zipper before where it kind of like hooks and then zips up. Um, this is really hard for me to get into, but once I am in, I am very smooth and like definitely smaller, um, which will be, yeah, great. And I like to wear undergarments that are like this strong because they stop me from putting pressure on the dresses and the seams and the actual fabric. And this is like designed to take kind of that stress. I also enjoyed that it matches with the bra, but I won't wear them together because the bra doesn't work. Um, next up is an even older piece. This is a Victorian skirt. Um, this isn't petticoat. It's really, really lovely. Um, so it buttons in the back. It has one of those old, I'll show you. There we go. It has one of these old like little buttons here. It also has some rust stains in it, which is totally okay. I expect rust stains from garments of this era. The one thing it does have that I'd be really curious on any of you know, Right in the front, it has this big slash, which is gonna make this really hard to wear on its own. I'm gonna have to make some sort of overskirt for this, or I'll have to layer it under shorter skirts. Um, but I do think I'm gonna figure out like a belt or like shorter skirt option for this as an overskirt, because it really is lovely just to get close again. But as you can see, the detailing here is beautiful. 
Um, to me, the fact that this is over 100 years old is crazy to me. I wish we still made clothes that lasted this long. Obviously, that is why I buy vintage, um, is this will probably be in my wardrobe until I die, and then it'll get passed on. Um, this was a 27-inch waist, so it's a little big which is totally fine for me for something kind of like this because I'll just safety pin it in. Um, but yeah, it was in excellent condition. It has one hem issue, which they noted. And then yeah, just a couple rust stains. But I'm super excited to figure out kind of how to make an overskirt so I can wear this. Or if you guys have any other ideas of how I can figure out this slit thing or what the slit thing is for, definitely leave it in the comments down below. I'm so curious. So that is it for the lingerie portion. Um, so now... This is all normal wear. Um, so I did travel to San Diego semi-recently. Um, I like didn't, I don't know, I was so anxious the whole time I traveled about getting COVID that I would not travel again personally. But obviously it's kind of up to everyone's choice. Just be good and be kind and courteous and wear your mask and follow the rules and the laws of whatever locality you're visiting. But first thing I went to, it's called Frock U Vintage, I believe. Uh, this is a really beautiful boutique located in San Diego and I really enjoyed it because they had kind of like this big tent area flea market style outside and then they had kind of their nicer stuff inside and I was able to find like a lot of really cute things and I really love their sales associate. They were super fun. Uh, I super enjoyed chatting with them and they gave me a few pieces to try on that I wouldn't have. I was so bummed because they gave me a black swimsuit to try on and I've been looking for a black vintage swimsuit and this one didn't fit and it made me so sad because it was like my dream swimsuit but one day one day i'll get my dream vintage swimsuit but first up is the cheapest item that i got um all of these were pretty well priced this was in the outdoor tent which means it's slightly damaged um so in this case it has some fading along the top it has a little discoloration in the armpit neither of those things really bother me the one thing that does bother me i'll get close again um i don't know if you can see that um, but it has like stitching um, so somebody when they stitched this down the inside it kind of like pulled everything weird because you shouldn't be stitching like your your facing isn't working if you have to stitch it in so I'm gonna first try to like cut those stitches out and then steam it and see if I can get the threads to move but if not I'm just gonna put on like a lace or something to kind of cover like the weirdness at the top um, I could also do that with a necklace when I wear it but I would rather kind of permanently do it, but I really loved the little, like, I think they're kick pleats on the skirt. I don't really own anything like this, and then I don't own a ton of green, so it was also fun to pick up some green. I believe this is a 60s piece, um, and it was only $28, which I'm pretty happy with because I don't feel like it needs that much work. Um, next up is another color a little bit out of my comfort zone. Um, so this is, I believe, a 1950s piece. As you can see, it has kind of these really beautiful pleats around the waist. I thought this was super flattering and I am determined to figure out how to sew a garment like this. Uh, this is actually super complicated though. I can tell from the inside and like all the facings. But yeah, this lemon color isn't usually quite my thing. This one was $89, which for me isn't bad for something like this. But yeah, and then it said it was a 27 inch waist. The one thing I did notice at that boutique is I did not feel like their waist measurements were accurate because I tried on some that were 24s that fit me and I tried on some that were 28s that fit me. So I don't feel like they quite have like their sizing 100% down. So if you like it and it's within two inches of your waistline, I would 100% try it on because I would have missed this dress if I didn't. Um, and yeah, it's just, it's such a lovely color. And because it is a little bit bigger, it will be a good dress for kind of wearing while being out on the go. Last up um, is also from that place. Um, I only went to one vintage shop while I was in San Diego. I also wanted to go to that girl, something like that girl vintage. I don't know, something along that line, but it was higher end and I wanted to kind of limit my exposure because what we did when we were in San Diego was we really just stayed in the Airbnb and got takeout to kind of try to limit being in spaces and so I was limiting being on indoor spaces so I just kind of only got to go to one vintage boutique and Frock U was the one I chose. Uh, this was the second dress I got there. Um, I mean third. I la 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 la. I la la la. <laughs> I love this pattern. That was such a wreck. I don't know what's going on. Um, I really like this pattern and then I really like the way the bust starts are sewn. They're super flattering and I'm hoping to also find a pattern at some point that does the best like this because it's really flattering because it's kind of like a wrap without looking like a wrap and then it has these cute little bows 
and these cute little buttons. It just fits really, really well. I think it's a really beautiful piece of vintage. Um, and they also definitely like pressed it and ironed it. The other thing about Frocky Vintage, from what I could tell talking to the salesperson, is they do their best to keep as much as they can out of landfill. So they will actually take items in and repair them. And I definitely feel like I can see a couple places here where the repairs are newer. And then like as far as like the green piece, they're happy to take in pieces that are a little bit older, and, or not older, a little bit in like worse repair knowing that they have customers who can repair those garments and would love to buy them for the cheaper price to be able to repair them, which is what that green dress was for me. But this one is one of their pristine and I just thought it fit me beautifully as well. And I think just to show you, yeah, this was a 25 inch waist. The other one was 27 and I think the one before that was, um, this was a 28 and all of them fit me. So I don't, find their sizing particularly accurate. So definitely, yeah, if you go try everything on you think you might like, and if the salesperson was there, that was there when I went, they're super great, especially if you love vintage. Um, but yeah, that is it for this haul. I'm really excited about everything. It was so nice to shop in person for the first time in like a while. It was super fun to go in and talk to somebody in sales who knew kind of like what I was looking for, knew I love color and like picked out things for me. It's just those like little things that you don't take for granted that you used to. Um, where it was kind of before I would have probably felt a little bit annoyed um, because I like to be left on my own when shopping, but it was just so nice to talk to another person in real life who loves vintage as much as I do. Um, but that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, definitely stick around. I post every single Friday at 9 a.m. Pacific time. Um, we do things like vintage and thrifting and sewing here. Um, lots of vintage sewing pattern things coming up. I've been back in the sewing flow and so there will be lots of I think process videos and Halloween's around the corner which means I'll be doing some Halloween content hopefully for the month of October so stay tuned for that I hope to see you next time bye